freshman, freshman year. Freshman year. Uh, it was a good time. I really didn't know anything. I thought that I knew everything, but yeah. we I thought didn't. we were all cool going into high school. But we were. We were still at the bottom of the totem pole. We went to the homecoming sure. dance. That was a big deal. Oh, that like was a huge thing. deal. Yeah, uh, you got to, you get to play real varsity sports. That's yeah. a good time. Oh yeah, I wasn't at Landmark, so. But I didn't yeah. really know anything, and you think you yeah. know everything, but you don't. You think you do, and then the seniors shut you down. If you were to give someone one piece of advice for freshman year, what would it be? Don't make the seniors mad. What's one thing you wish you would have known coming to Landmark as a freshman? Um, that Coach Thorne track was gonna be like really hard. <laughs> I wouldn't try it out. I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so sophomore year was my first year at Landmark. Um, I learned that Landmark does things a lot differently than my old school, so it was a big change. Yeah, I was in AP World History sophomore year. Met one of my dearest friends in there, but um, it kind of stunk and not my favorite class. Actually, AP World tainted all of sophomore <laughs> year. So Yeah, we both Shout definitely out. learned the lesson that uh, you go through hard things, but... You gotta overcome. What's your hardest class? AP World History. What's your best memory of sophomore year? Uh, probably going to Honduras. That was a good time. Okay. Uh, junior year was so much fun. One of my favorite of yeah. the four years of high school for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was super good. Yeah, uh, and the I got to, the opportunity to go to Kenya, so I got another chance to go um, international, and that was really, really awesome. And uh, when I came back, I got the opportunity to. Um, be the distinguished young woman of Noonan so that was a really big part of my junior year <laughs> yeah junior year was super fun um, you know a lot better than sophomore year um, yeah it's like you kind of know things and you get your yeah class, so yeah you're you're finally an upperclassman that's a big oh, that step fun. that's awesome you drive um, we drove yeah, you, just, yeah. you get a car um, first prom like junior year is great yeah. Loved it. What's your opinion on high school relationships? Um, I think that they are a positive thing. How do you feel about high school relationships? Couples. Um, I mean. Okay, senior year, the year that everybody waits so long for. It's super cool. Um, ton of milestones that you go through throughout the year. You start off with a bunch of last first times, and then you reach the point where. Uh, last first times become last last times and it's just crazy to see how far you've come um, Yeah, for me senior year was kind of hard because I tore my ACL playing basketball y'all know pretty early on and so uh, My senior year was full of watching a lot of y'all's uh, last and first and I had the last it was just they were during my junior year so God really taught me that um I, you know, I just need to make the most of every opportunity and that sometimes my plans aren't always his plans And so that was a really good lesson for me to learn uh, yeah. And it's just been so impactful it gave me more time to work on things like my AP art and uh, Writing for Huff's class, which um, I really enjoy both of them. So yeah, uh, you just really been great Yeah, you definitely see God's faithfulness through it all. Yeah, I think we can both agree on comes that. together senior year Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Is senioritis a real thing? Oh, senioritis is definitely a real thing. We all have it we all feel it. It's real. As a senior, what is the best way to wear your hair? Like Huff Daddy. Something that God's given me that really sets me apart from my sisters, I would say, is celebration. He's always made me really want to celebrate other people and just the little accomplishments in their lives. Uh, that's one way that I really stand out from the other people in my family. So whether it's performing arts or visual arts or even in athletics, you know, God's always just given me this sense of encouragement to just go above and beyond um, the normal for celebrating other people. And I feel like that's how I leave my footprint, not just at Landmark, but in life. Yeah, I for sure want to leave my footprint um, but just by being someone that is known for setting an example to everybody who's younger than me. My life first, 1 Timothy 4.12 is set an example for the believers and all that you do. Um, so just that encourages me just to set an example and I, I pray that as I leave Landmark, I'll be remembered as someone that set an example to those who are younger than me. What do you think about the seniors in high school? My first class at Landmark. I look up to high school seniors for athletic, athletic men, like doing sports and like mathematical stuff. Oh gosh. I don't have any thoughts. I'm worn out. They're awesome.
They're lazy and they get bruised a lot. Aside from Gravit, they're great people. This year's senior class has lots of natural leaders that truly lead by their example. They always give me examples and I always take the ones that are good. I think they're very, um, the boys are very athletic. I think that they're like really smart. Hmm. They're sleepy and loud. <laughs> they're students who've been to school for at least 12 years. They're fun and bigger than me. And it gave me hope. Because sometimes I'm looking at these ninth graders going, man, they're not ever going to get it. Um... I love the senior class. You have been a joy. These are, These are the prince, Mr. Huff. Prince! <laughs> <laughs>